Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code. It's called isomorphic strings. We're going to jump right into it. We're given two strings S and T and we want to determine if they are isomorphic. Two strings S and T are isomorphic if the characters in S can be replaced to get T. All occurrences of a character must be replaced with another character while preserving the order of characters. No two characters may map to the same character, but a character may map to itself. So example one, we have S being E, G, G, and T being A, D, D. So here we can map E into A and G into D, and that will transform S into T. And there have been no repeat mappings or cross mappings into D. And example two, we have foo and we have bar. So here we're gonna output false because while F can map to B and O can map to A, O here also has to map to R and we can't have any duplicate mappings, right? O can't map to both A and R, so this is going to be false. And example three, we have paper and title. So this is okay. P is going to map to T. So anytime we see a P, it's always going to be a T. A can map to I, E can map to L, and R can map to E. So this is also going to be true. And we know S and T are going to be a valid ASCII characters, and they have the same exact length. So like always, let's take a look at another example. Say we have the following examples, S being B, A, D, B, and T being B, B, C. So we want to make mappings from S into T. Right off the bat, this first character, we want to convert into what we have in T. So we could have a mapping of B into B. We can have a character map to itself, so this is okay. Then we get to have A mapping to A. Then we get to D. D can't map to B. B has already been mapped. We already have B mapping to B. Or even if we had another letter, Z mapping to B, B is already there, so we can't have another character mapping to it, right? No two characters may map to the same character. So we're gonna have to return false. Now say this wasn't the case, this was also B over here. Then once we get to this B, this B is now mapping to C, so again it's going to break, right? We need to keep track of two things. We need to make sure a mapping is consistent. If B maps to B, it can't map to anything else. And once anything else has been mapped, it can't come from another character except the one it was originally mapped to. So that's all we really need to keep track of. If all these things are the same, then we can output true. So how are we going to go ahead and code this up? First, we are going to want to initialize a dictionary, keeping track of all of our mappings. We also want to keep track of everything we are mapping to. For example, over here, if E maps to A, we want to keep track of A. So we know another character down the line, say F, can't also map to A. So let's keep a set of values we've already seen, and that's going to be a set over here. And now all we need to do is iterate through S. So for I and character in enumerate S, and all this does is it keeps track of the index as well as the character we are on. So say we have the following example, I is going to start off at index zero and character is going to be B over here. We have our dictionary and our values. Now, as we are iterating through our input string S, we come across our first character, right? And we want to see if this character already exists in our dictionary. If it doesn't, we want to go ahead and add it in. So if character not in D. Now, actually, before adding it in, we also want to make sure whatever we're trying to map it to hasn't already been seen. So we also need to make sure T of I is not in values. If it is, we're going to have to return false because that has already been mapped. It's already in values, but our own character hasn't been mapped. So if that's the case, we return false. So if T of I in values, we return false. Now, if that's not the case, right? If character is not in our dictionary and what we're trying to map it to has also not been mapped to yet, then we can make a map. So D of character is going to equal T of I. So right now, what are we doing? We're adding our character, which is B and setting this equal to T of I. I is zero, so T of I is also B. We just added this mapping in. Now we also want to keep track of it in values, so values.add t of i, which means b has now been mapped, nothing else can now map to it. Now what if the character is in d? So else, if it is in d, now we want to see what it maps to. If it doesn't map to t of i, again we need to return false. So if d of that character does not equal t of i, we return false. If it does, then we're good and we can just move on to the next character. And if we go through every single character in S without returning false, then we know we have a valid mapping and we will return true. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now before leaving, let's just go through our example super quickly so we can really understand how our code is working line by line. So we had just finished going in this if condition, character was not in D, we added it in and we updated values as well. So going back in this for loop, 
i is now going to be index one and the character is going to be a that we have in s character is not in d so we are in this if condition and we check if t of i in values t of i is a it's not in value so we're good to go we can add in this pairing to d so d of character d of a is going to equal t of i which is also a and we want to add t of i to values so we're adding a in here as well going back in this for loop we have i now being index two the character is b and now the character is in d right so we can't go in this if we're in this else we want to check what d of character equals d of the character we're on which is b equals b and it does equal what we have at t of i right it does equal the right mapping so we don't return false and we go back in this for loop now we're at index three and our character is d this character is not yet in our dictionary so now we want to check if t of i in values what is t of i t of i is b and b already exists in values something already mapped to b so we can't also map d into b and we'll have to return false so this over here will be false and we will output that over here so talking about space and time complexity for time we are going through every single character that we have in s and t so it's going to be o of n if there are n characters in s and t and for space we could potentially be storing up to 26 characters in our dictionary and values since we are limited by 26 characters, we could actually argue this is constant O of 1 because it's not dependent on how big or how large our input gets. It's always going to be a set 26. So we just went ahead and solved isomorphic strings. If you have any questions with this whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I'll answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.